we're live. Somebody wants to say hello. Hello. All right, you gotta go do your homeworks. Yeah. Or you wanna hang out and watch or what? Love you, buddy. Hello, 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 hello. Is this okay? Loud enough? Louder? Louder, 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 louder. Okay, all right. Hello. Hello. Okay. How y'all doing? This may be... Oh, dang. This thing just keeps changing. Now we got... We got Sands up there, we got Undyne over here. I have a feeling like we're not even close to the end of the game, are we? Uh, let's go find out. Beep, boop, boop. So I believe the last thing we got, yeah, it was a letter to give to Undyne. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna give it to Alphys, who I think we get to by going to the... We just go, I think we just go to Hotland. But is there a faster way? Do I have to like... There's probably a faster way, hold up. Tralala. -la. Care for a ride? Ride in the boat. Get in the boat. This is how it makes. Tralala. Dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. Tralala. Come again sometime. Tralala. <coughs> so we're supposed to go deliver the letter to Alfie's. Door is the mail slot. Slide the letter under. No. You'll keep the letter warm for a little longer. How come I can't just open it? I keep looking to the chat for spoilers, but I don't want spoilers. I don't know why I keep looking. Should I just slide it under the door? Uh, maybe if I enter through the other side? Somebody in chat says slide it under. I don't know. I know. I don't want you to say, but I want to know. Can that be? Can that be true? Oh, I can't go this way. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Two step one time. I don't know the word. I don't know the word, but it's like crisscross, crisscross. Oh, and my baby's awake. Let's see how she's doing. Send her a little heart, and we're good to go. Perfect. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh, no, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? N n no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's... It's a kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh, 
my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, why don't I explain that it's not me? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Hey, looking good in that dress outfit. How, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, <laughs> let's do this thing. Hey, why am I dating so many people in this game? Hey, 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 hey. wait. Uh, actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Hey, references. Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But... I also brought some waterproof king for your scales. Oh, it's clearly for a dime. Why don't you just why don't why don't I just explain? This is weird. Your uh scales. Ah well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I um Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating. Start. Yeah, let's uh Date. Boop. Pop. Boop. Boop. Pop. Boop. Boop. Pop. Boop. Pop. Beep. Boop. Boop. Ah. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Oh, it's a Temmie. There's a, there's a dog in the upper uppers. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I... Oh, this is where Undyne and I come all the time. You find all sorts of great stuff here. Eh, she's really... Ah... Uh, Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Uh, okay, so we had a voice for her, but I want to change it. So I need a new voice for Undyne. But I'm not a fan of Undyne's current voice. Somebody give me a suggestion for a voice for Undyne. I don't know what biker girl sounds like. Rough, rough. <coughs> hey, there you are. I uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Nah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a date like... 
a cute uh, kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I am really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne. She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. <laughs> a proud. I'm a proud. I'm a proud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many times she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. The truth. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Okay, everybody take a second. Pause. And admire the dog. Who is the cutest, happiest dog in all of everything. Hmm. To live a lie where both people are happy. Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Hey, hey, hey. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Oh. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Uh, you'll be Undyne. I'll be Undyne. You'll be Undyne. I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. Hehehe. <laughs> I am. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. The thanks! <laughs> you say that to me a lot. What is this? Hold on. What is this? Oh, my son has handed me a letter from somebody who is trying to replace windows in the neighborhood oh it's very good discount huh you say that to me a lot and i never know what to say but i know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends <laughs> uh, so i'd like to um talk to you about something Then she kisses you. What? <laughs> Antine would never. Uh... I kiss her back. So please. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, this is so real. <laughs> I, I, I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering, Undyne, I love you, Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. Oh. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? 
It's supposed to be a really sweet moment. These voices are gonna ruin it for me. Uh, wait a second. Are you two on a date? Ah, uh, yes. I mean, ah, uh, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only on romantically role rom playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? <laughs> About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like romantic. I really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time I... Alphys. <laughs> I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some... Nerdy loser. Alphys. And I... I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, part of me wants to cry because it's so sweet. The other part's like... Alphys. <laughs> Dumpster! Dang, you got slain. You got three pointed in the dumpster. Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% maximum power! So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become with who... <laughs> I got distracted by the dog. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And I knew you. you're gonna train me? Wow, the blushing, huh? Wow, so blushing, huh? Puff, what? Me? Oh, it's your boy. No, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do that. Says Jog Boy. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about who how great we are. Ready? I'm gonna start the timer. Uh, and I'm. I'll do my best. Oh my God! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime's real. Ah, I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. What is this game? Can I just beat this game, please? Okay, good. Okay, good. Well, I got massages for my friends. Let's see what my friends are saying. Okay. 
piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Country boy, I love you. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Ring. Audi. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now. I feel strongly and for no... I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Mm, wrong buttons. Do not do that. Cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Tra -la -la. Care for a ride? Yes. Let us go to Hotland. Hey, thanks to everybody who made it. Thanks to the mods for running the show. Thanks to all y'all for behaving for the mods. What's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. Thanks to everybody who's here for the first time. Thanks to everybody who's here for the umpteenth time. Love y'all. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Okay, bye bye. Boop, beat up, boop. Gonna go visit Alfie's now. Oh! It's a note from Alfie's. Read. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, you want to know the truth. Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Uh oh, got a feeling things about to get real. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M EM tether stability lost! Altitude dropping! This game never ends. This is the rest of my life playing this game. Ah, so this is the scary part of the lab they were talking about. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king's asked me to do. <clears throat> I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Right, I guess I should do, be doing this as Alfie's. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once leaving. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. 
Uh oh. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. I knew it. Scary time! Scary, scary time! Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Asgor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Ooh, got a tip from Hess. Thank you so much, Hess. Hess has Carlin and Modesses. I love you. Wow. Ha. Hope you're doing well. Without giving spoilers, hope you have your shock blanket, comfort food, favorite plushie, and Kleenex nearby. Love you, chat. Also, Drea is the best. Besitos, Hess. Thank you so much for that, Hess. Thanks for the shoutouts. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ooh. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. On the sink. It's a dog. It's a, it's a ghost. Oh! Hello. Oh. That's. Ah. Uh... Wow. Okay, 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 okay. But nobody came. your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Okay. It's kind of freaky. Nobody came. Memory head. I would like to not join the fun. Become one of us. Be seeing you. Thank you. Not for me. 
Hey, the artsy nerd says activate gangster voice. Psst. Hey, you. I heard that Vinny's been doing a pain in the, has been being a pain in the butt, and uh, just wanted to say you are all right in my book. You can use this to get you some more go-go juice, okay? Love you guys, every one of you. Thank you so much for that, artsy nerd. Oh, good. Let's GTFO, please. There's a red key lying in the sink. No one can. Hey, we got a tip from Reese Bedwell. Thank you so much. Says, hey, uh, not much, but I wanted to give a little something. Would love to stay, but I've grown I have grown up things to do, a.k.a. play Overwatch with my little bro and Mr. Reese. Also, I love Essence and Twilight. Heart, see ya. Thank you so much, y'all. Y'all the sweetest. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. The red switch has been turned on. Oh boy. This is some spoopy spoops. This is some spooky spookies. happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. That's it? Yeah. Spoops. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Try lying in this bed. Oh. Oh, okay. He's kind of like a penis. Aww. Aww, thank you. That was really sweet. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgur, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no.
Oh. That's good. Okay. Okay. Love it. I love this. I love this. This is great. This is fantastic. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Okay. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Amalgamate. Amalgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh, hi, dog. Hello. Good doggy. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh, good dog. Good doggy. Good doggy. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. Rest quietly in your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh, okay. No, thank you. Good doggy. Good doggy. Hey. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Good, good doggy. Oh, good. You're such a good dog. <laughs> amalgamate is twitching affectionately. affectionately. You pet the amalgam. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. God, I hope this is okay. I mean, the one ghost was nice to me. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify. Um. Hey, you pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Dodging is contented. He won. Okay. Good doggy. That was fun. vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. Oh, I bet. Okay. I think maybe Alfie's made Flowey. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Like a Flowey. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Hey, thank you so much to CP Valerie. Tipped some money and said, oh my god, Manga Scary Scary. Haha, <laughs> hope you're doing well, Cardlin, as well as to Modesses and all the other lovely cardigans. 
Love you, Lily Lily. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Valerie. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh, you made flowy, and now flowies are bad. Oh. You have a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. Um. Clean? You wash your hands, nothing happened. I was afraid of. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. You can keep them. I don't need any. Uh, you did something mysterious. Qua comma, recognize it has more to learn from this world. I'm so afraid of. Oh. 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 Um, you kneel and pray for safety. Kama remembers its conscience. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Cold. That's all you can read. Kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot in the center. Oh, okay. Great, 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 great. Why is why is the game gotta have a scary part? <coughs> is my question. Can it just be a silly game the whole time through? Why is it gotta be scariest game as well? Oh. Smells like sweet lemons. <coughs> it's not how I describe what I'm seeing right now. Oh! Oh, hi! Lemon bread. Hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Thanks, lemon bread. Oh, hi, lemon bread. Hi, lemon bread. No, please. No. Wow, I just died to lemon bread. Our fate works upon you. Cardinal, stay determined. Okay, well, you know. Only so much I can do when lemon bread chomps me to pieces. I should have done the hack, or not the hack, the glitch exploit thing to get the uh, Temi armor. There's an O on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you can read. Some kind of switch. There's a yellow colored slot in the center. There are a bunch of VHSs. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Psst. Gory, wake up. 
Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shh. Oh, this is... I know what this is. This is Mama Cow to Daddy Cow. Shush. I want to get your reaction. Gory dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... At a mom e Get it? Oh. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momedian. Well, <laughs> I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. Aw, oh, calls her Tori. <laughs> Dad cow and mom cow. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, Cardle, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> what? 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 Howdy, Cardle. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee <laughs> hee. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? What? What? This is... Asriel talking to Cardle, but I'm Cardle. What? What? So the human kid... That was with... Asriel... If Azriel's the name I'm re remembering correctly, as Mama Cow and Daddy Cow's kid had a human friend, and that's me, Cardle. The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. It made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. What? What? Uh, I don't like this idea, Carl. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Carl. Never. Y yeah. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. Oh, we get the flowers. Uh oh. This was my idea. Cardle. Can. Can you. I don't know who this is. Can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Is this Mommy Cow? Cardle, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Cardle. You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Carl. Please. Wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? 
What? What? Something happening. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Ascors watched them. I don't think he should. What? Alright, time to go get wrecked again. Cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. You have a familiar tune Lemon Bread's Body Shakes. Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah, you pretty girl. Oh, okay, good. Okay. This is fantastic. You screamed out, but nobody came. Stay here with me. Smells like sweet lemons. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. Stay here with me. Bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Lemon bread. Could this be goodbye? Thank you. coming up on the hour, but I think I'm going to go a little longer just because this is wackadoo, and I am so hype on it right now. Thank you again to everybody who's been donating, by the way. Deeply appreciate it. Let's go check under the sheets. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. Termination extraction machine. Machine number 19. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Ascor left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Ascor. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. I just keep shaking. Mm. 
Oh. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, ha, I remember. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Oh god. You said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Kind of like a Temi, but... Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> okay. There a curtain. Have we seen any curtains so far? I don't think we've encountered any curtains. Oh, that curtain? Shower curtain? Ah, the bathroom is the curtain. Okay. Kind of a bummer that nothing in this whole place has given me any money. Did save. Here, I'll save again. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. I can't afford some of the chips. That's what I'm saying. I don't got no money. Seems like this controls elevator's powers. Turn it on? Yes. Can't move. Can't move. Hey, stop! It's Alpies. Got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get bed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would worry that I would be too afraid. 
to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Ah, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Askor asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I is isolated the power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest. Believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. Not knowing. Deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Power has been turned on. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Askor yet, but I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. Dang. The flower's gone. voice you've never heard before. Cardo, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Cardo, see you soon. <laughs> What the hell is going on in this game? 